well-rounded fighters in this division against maybe the best grappler in this division. It's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out stylistically. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. All right, going for the early takedown, he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this he fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. All right, we're operating inside the closed guard now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. He's gonna take on more here. He might get a finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Wow. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Navago Meta. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Magomedov's got the full mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. And attack an armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, now he's in trouble. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. 90 seconds and counting here in our opening round. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. So 41 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Yermagomez. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big punch lands through the middle. He engages in the single collar tie. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Numago Meta. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib. Level change, get to the leg, finish the takedown. Great job. And that one certainly found the target. Another big shot to the head. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice lands. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Stuffs the takedown. No problem.
to see, bud. Deep breath. Breathe into that nose, out to that mouth. All right, here's some water. You ready? You ready? Fight. Second round underway. Just out of the range with that right hand. Look at the commitment to kick it. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of... He's hurt! He's hurt! Moving to his left now. Position. Look for a level change as he tries to secure a takedown. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Hard shots landing on both sides here. And Michael Medoff's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this strike. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity, you feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top performance? Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Right hand punch to the clinch. Throwing that jab, no good. Left hand punches the clinch. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Now he lands early when he lands off. That knee might have landed there. Oh, and he lands yet another uppercut. So those strikes have come in bunches tonight, really starting to find some consistency. He's finding consistency because he knows that that is a strike that he can find at any time. Oh, there's the double leg takedown. Tags him with the left. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because 
it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground yeah. and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. All right, so the uppercut. Oh! the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. And there he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He's gonna like the sound of that. Big knockout for him to win the belt here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at 26 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho All right, so he defends the UFC lightweight title tonight, and I think in so doing, starts to close the gap on the pantheon of lightweight greats. A hugely successful defense tonight. Big moment for this man. Every time he goes into the octagon, the target 